to shoot once again. I am in the Ann Arbor District Library filming A Door in the Wall. It is by Margaret Day Angeli. I think that's how you say her name. Uh, Mr. Shoe, Robin was the main character, as you know in this book. He was so annoying. He drove me crazy. He's such a whiner. I didn't like him. And so I struggled with this book, Mr. Shoe. It was fast, so it was short, and I liked that, but it, I just I was really annoyed with him at the beginning. His character run me the wrong way, and I just wanted to be done with his story. Uh, so he wanted to be this knight, and then he like lost feeling in his likes, and his parents went away. Like his parents like went to serve the king and queen, so he was left back at home, which is weird. In all these Newberry books, like the parents are just gone. Like Jen Vincent is my videographer. She's like cracking up. So I was making it difficult. Mr. Shu, I'm sorry. Uh, but his parents left, and that was weird. It's just like in roller skates, the parents just like take off and abandon these children. So apparently it's a Newberry theme we're noticing. No parents, bud not buddy. No. So anyways, Mr. Shu, um, I am at Kids Read Comics and people are at the library. We're having a great time here. And uh, so Robin, then Brother Luke comes, the friar, of course, and he like helps him and they go swimming and he teaches him all these things. And eventually he goes to the castle and he gets to live his dream of being knighted. And he was still annoying to me at the end a little bit. It was, it was an okay book. I could see it being read. I could see kids getting something out of it. <laughs> Why? Uh, so I have notes, Mr. Shu. This is the second video in a row. I'm keeping notes because I keep forgetting what these books are around. My 1950 fun fact, Mr. Shu. 1950, the first credit card in America. Diners Club released their first credit card in America, which was a sad day, a sad day in our country, Mr. Shu. Uh, Mr. Shu, I, I don't believe in credit cards. I don't have a credit card. I'm a big Dave Ramsey fan. So, um, and people, I'm not like against people who have credit cards. I'm not going to rant about this, but I'm sad that. <laughs> I think that you should read drama. <laughs> and I don't want to create any drama with this conversation. Um, Diners Club is great, and I think that I'm like really sweating. Mr. Shu, you know it's been really hot. Uh, these are my two worst videos. I just filmed one like 30 seconds ago, and my crew here, Jen Vincent on the camera, and Beth and Brian are not helping. So I'm going to let them come on, and new rule, in order to do a one-take rule, we need to have no gigglers in the room. So Brian the giggler and Beth the giggler, come on up. And if you guys would, the giggler, come on guys, come on. Yay, do we have to giggle on camera? I don't know if I can giggle on camera. I don't know, try. Hi, Mr. Shu. Um, we're here at Kids Read Comics, so I thought what better time than to talk about my favorite graphic novel ever, 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 ever. Page by Page by Laura Lee Gollidge. Um, phenomenal, phenomenal book. Story is, is girl Paige, and she moves to a new place. She's trying to fit in, meet new friends. Um, she's an artist and trying to find her way with that and just kind of making that part of uh, her life. You know, but what I love about this book, the pictures, they don't add to the story like we see in most graphic novels. They kind of add to the emotion. So we see pictures of her like screaming within her own head. And later on she meets a boy and she's kind of in love, but she's worried about messing it up so you see all the banana peels. I love this book. The illustrations are amazing. Page by page by Laura Lee Gullage. Everyone should read it professional. All right, I was put on the spot by Mr. Sharp to do this video, so I had to find my book on my phone because the library does not have it right now. So my book that I want to talk about is The True Meaning of Smack Day by Adam Rex. And while this is a novel, it uh, appeals to people who love graphic novels too because Adam Rex is an illustrator and he does have a lot of different pictures and comic type things in the book. It's about, it's a story of a girl named Gratuity. For those of you who don't know, Gratuity means tip. So the mother obviously obviously uh, did not realize what that name meant when she named her daughter. Um, and she, her mother is kidnapped by aliens and she has to try to find her mother and they go on this crazy road trip. She goes on a crazy road trip with this alien named J-Lo. Yes, J-Lo. And if you didn't already hear, this movie is going to, or this book is going to be made into a movie um, in 2014. And Jim Parsons, yes, Jim Parsons, love Jim Parsons. Um, he's going to be playing the voice of the alien J Lo. So I'm excited about that. So if you haven't read The True Meaning of Smack Day, you need to. It's hilarious, it's endearing, and. Hi, Mr. Shu. Bye, Mr. Shu. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know who Jim Parsons is. That? From Big Bang Theory? Big Bang Theory. Sheldon, Sheldon Cooper. What? Oh my God. Mr. Shu, have a great day. Happy reading. Mr. Shark needs to see the Big Bang Theory.